we will be looking at the Discovery of America, Part 1. Today, we'll be talking about the indigenous Americans and first European discovery. The indigenous Americans on the continent, there were two theories, two wide theories for, for how they were believed to reach the continent. The first one involves that they supposedly went from Asia into Alaska via the route named Beringia, which appeared in the last ice age around 38,700 years ago, and it disappeared via melting about 11,700 years ago, leaving the Native Americans stuck on the continent. The second theory is they use very simple primitive boats to cross South America, apparently. The first theory, and much more believable, and Native American DNA and genetics suggest that the first theory is much more correct. But, well, it's still up for debate. This was a long time ago, remember. But anyway, these Native Americans were now stuck on the continent, never to receive contact until thousands of years later. Now, let's jump to 1000 AD. This was fairly modern, and there was this guy named Leif Erikson. Don't worry, he was not a leaf like you may see these leaves before me. He was not one of those leaves. He was somebody big, somebody special. Why? Well, he is known for being the first European to set foot on American land. So, the uh, Leif Erikson supposedly, uh, according to an epic written in 1200 AD, supposedly was trying to get to Greenland to spread Christianity throughout the camps already established there. But on the way, some winds uh, accidentally blew him down causing him to land, well, we don't know where he landed. It may have been somewhere near Greenland or in Canada. But we know for sure he landed above the United States. And so, well, new evidence suggests that there was a town uh, made by them in Newfoundland, which is uh, pretty uh, down north. But in Newfoundland, was suspected to be where Leif Erikson landed. And Leif Erikson made a couple of settlements and tribes there. And the thing was, he died while after going to Greenland. But the thing was, he also called this new mysterious land Vinland. When he died in Greenland, nobody outside of Scandinavia knew of his work. And so his work faded away for half a millennium until somebody named Christopher Columbus arrived to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.